Welcome back, this is Fox. This will be part five, carrying on with our series, Anno 1800 Artisans to Investors. At the end of the last episode, we just sent our ship away to the Arctic. We have, we're there. All we've got to do is uh, head over there and start working on the Arctic, which is what we're going to do in this episode. At the end of the last episode, we had some money problems. I'm sure you'll all be glad to see that it is possible and uh, ways you can overcome it. We, um, yeah, the main thing, my mistake, I thought that introducing electricity to the engineers Which was going to... collapse? Introducing electricity to the engineers was going to bring, bring us uh, extra money, but it doesn't. But we've sorted that out now. The newspaper came in. Turn the music down again. The newspaper came in. We used the boost from the newspaper, the consumerism boost, to get our money back up. You can see we're on 13k plus now. I did a couple of little things off screen. Um, I've been working on this 10 minutes just to get things set up, ready for us to go to the Arctic. I've created two more brass smelters um, to get an overstock of brass coming in because I know that you need brass in the Arctic to supply your oil lamps. Um, obviously I needed more zinc and copper to do that so I set another zinc mine oh, on this island. We've got two out of the three working now. Settled a little island over here. Didn't need any workforce to do it because you get 50 free workers at the population level I'm at at the minute. Every time you settle in New Orleans, you get 50 free workers. That is enough to run Hide two copper soul. mines. The so the two Your copper people. mines are starting to get sick. These two copper mines, um, one of them, one of them is feeding the extra brass smelters, and one of them is over overproducing copper. So if we check all islands. We're overproducing copper by two tons a minute, and we are also overproducing brass by six tons a minute. This should give us a healthy stock for us to uh, use and take to the Arctic to make these oil lamps. The reason I'm overproducing the copper more than the zinc is that later on down the line, when we start, when we finally get an airship, you can transmute with Nate and you can get an item to put in the Arctic Lodge, which changes the input of the oil lamps from black brass to just pure copper. It saves you a lot of hassle, obviously, you save in the extra, you save in using extra zinc to make the brass. And obviously you haven't got to wait for it to be Manufactured, you can just ship it straight from a check copy straight from our main island straight to the Arctic to provide the gas lamps. Um, just gonna have a quick look at everything before we head on over to the Arctic. Fucking people ill all the time in this game. Excuse my language. I always forget hospitals, it's my main thing. Right, let's check everything. Before we leave, all islands, fish, spuds, schnapps is bag of the money, Fox City, schnapps is golden, clothing is low, but we're overproducing on the. You lost wall. an influence bonus. subject is totally imperceptible. I must remember to keep doing Again, that until we get a huge income. Uh, need to produce more work clothes. We're overproducing on the wall, we just need more clothes, so... Should sort that. That's on 19 now. We're low on pigs. We need another pig farm, another sausage farm. We're low on farmers at the minute because of this, but it will sort it out. Should be pigs and sausages sorted. It will be when that silo starts up. Let's check the grain. Grain's good. Flour, bread. Demand for iron's more than what we are for the coal, but that's fine. It's only producing these iron ingots. We are importing that from elsewhere. 
So it's good. Hops and beer. We are going to need more hops. So quickly. Rectify that. It's weird. Looks like the field isn't made, but it is. So that should sort of hops out. Yeah, malt's good. Oh, it's just the beer. Might have to create another malt factory, whatever they're called. We're going to need one more corn factory and then that should see us good. It's not corn, it's Your wheat. people are healthy again. Corn, bread. We're in a good state now to leave this. We're still, stay, still saying hello on the hops. It's because we introduced another brewery. The malt will be good, so we do need one more hops. Good. Goulash, cannery, sewing machines, rum's close. We are overproducing on the sugar cane. I may just head over quickly to the new world. Just build one more rum distillery. Hopefully, it can keep up with the sugar cane that we've got. good right let's head on over to the Arctic then flagship awaiting instructions my John's camp shall serve for us from here we can search to any length and breadth just as they left it. We'll rake over the remains and then make a refuge for ourselves. Hold hard, a crag. Heaped by Highland Hand is well worth our time. First, get all you faithful some shelter and a canteen where they can warm each other up. Build one canteen, John's six log. explorer shelters. He knew we would camp for him. I am going to blueprint this first, or not blueprint, actually get it down. I know we're going to need three oil, well, oil whaling things. I'm going to move this over. This doesn't need heat, this functions on its own, so it doesn't matter where it goes. We might move it as far to the left as we can. I am going to need three whaling stations to do what, at least to do, to do what we need to do. Should get all three, one in the middle, two to the side. Pause you. So, if you've never been to the Arctic before, these are the heaters, these generate heat. Everything needs heat. There's only a couple of things that don't need heat. I believe the coal, the charcoal, whatever you want to call them, charcoal kiln. Charcoal kilns do not need heat. I am not. can't remember if the timber does or not. It 
It does, yeah. So even your timber production needs heat. Charcoal doesn't. So you can you can have your charcoal production away from your your heat sources and your workers and the canteen and everything. Everything else needs heat. These heaters require charcoal to obviously get them going. This green line is how far this heat dissipates or travels. It doesn't travel awfully far. You can get stuff later on from Nate to uh, boost the range and stuff. But as long as you're getting got enough charcoal to keep these heaters going, everything's golden. It's generally one charcoal kiln per one heater, so that's all you need to know. So we, uh, this heater will heat everything on this green line. So as you can see, we can build a lot of houses either way here, so I'm going to do what they told us. Build six explorer shelters. You reached a new milestone. Don't believe the canteen needs heat, if I remember rightly, but you have to have the canteen within range. Cold enough to freeze the balls off a brass monkey. Oh, get a coal fire burning post haste. So read Sir John's logbook. Made camp on William Island, it should share us for the winter, January 3rd, 1848. We met a group of Inuit to the northwest. They were reluctant at first, but later approached us to trade for iron. They offered us to deal seals, which of course we civilly declined, having enough fine canned food aboard Sticks and Hades to last a lifetime. But instead, they made, now, made note of a route to the northwest passage, March 11th, 1848. The Inuit led us to a channel heading deeper into the ice. Inuit looked worried, but our instruments report freezing and thin thinning by the day. Time for our mighty icebreakers to prove their prowess. Soon we shall be first to cut the miracle shipping canal bridge in east and west. We set out tomorrow. If HMS Hades and Styx came this way, the Inuit must have seen them. Maybe they can help us. Alright, so we're going to need a charcoal kiln. This is where I normally build my um, airship hangar later on up here out the way, so... I'm going to have car charcoal production and wood production down this little slither here out the way of the the main people, if you like. So for now, we'll do one. Two charcoal kilns. Still need a warehouse, obviously, to connect them in. They still need connecting to your warehouse, so you're gonna have to build these ice roads. You can't see them very well, but they're there. These are the gold mines. This is the main reason I come to the Arctic: the gold and obviously the gas to power the gas, the gas power stations. It's infinitely more better than oil. Uh, in my big game, I'm at 120,000 investors, I think. The whole of Cape Trelawney is powered by gas, and my main island in the old world. The only thing I use oil for is a couple of islands where I've got industry. I'll do my usual snaking around the edge. So by the time we're done with this, this will all be people. We'll have an airship hangar, three gold mines running, two gold mines running, sorry. So we'll unpause that, now we've got the charcoal kiln on the go. If I remember rightly, which I don't. I'm gonna instantly create another heater got the charcoal kilns to provide it. I'm going to create like a little little hub over here where we're going to have the caribou caribou I should really learn the names of all the buildings pemmican production, you need caribou and oil 
uh, whale oil to do that. Alright, we're going to need wood, so we might as well get... Some wood production on the go. Flagship awaiting instructions. These people will use schnapps, so I'll drop this schnapps off. I'm going to head this bloke, this straight back to the uh, old world. I'm going to load a ship up in the old world with some wood, more iron. Flagship ready for. I may even put some coal on it. And some brass, obviously. I believe, if my memory serves me, I do have a steam oh, no, cargo I ship did. ready. So, have I made too many? Pause windows. Why are we low on people? Strange. Not missing anything. No, nope. light bulbs. We didn't. We were going to do that. Is there a oh, it's this right? My focus is destroyed. What the fuck are you so unhappy about? Pollution, propaganda, oil and peace and luxury. Some propaganda causing the hassles. Next time we'll just do a. We'll do two of the uh, consumerism and then we'll do one of the happiness ones to boost it. Are done by. So I was going to load a ship up. With put that on it straight away. Ceasefire has ended. Wood, brass. Ship under attack. Deal. Not unless we get what it's rare we leave any of Sixteen thousand. It's no problem now. We're we're up and running properly. Just keep paying them off until we can get to a point where we can destroy them. You can head off to the Arctic, and then we'll carry on building. 20 minutes already, wow. So, these can all reach the canteen. Adventuring was never likely to be...
Thought I was going to be able to squeeze another one in there, but we can't. All production's up and running. We are going to need another one of them. Snaking that around the around the capturing area for the Jack's hut. Is there something wrong with the way I'm doing things? No. Find the Inuit by studying Sir John's log. We know where the Inuit Inuit are. They're up here. I've sent my ship back, so we'll have to wait for that. I concentrate on getting this industry going. When we get to a certain level, sleeping bags and schnapps will be, sorry, pemmican and then oil lamps at 500. Workforce shortage. I'm going to have to move some of these houses around once we get to uh, the next level of people. Because I'm going to have to fit a post office in there. It's a need that they. It's a need that they need, obviously. Um, it's a good one to have as well because it's a one-time buy and it covers a certain area and you get more, more workforce from it. See, the struggle to reach the, the canteen. I may have to split these and do a line, a path down the middle. Not taking up the space of the that these heaters can take with a canteen, but it appears we don't have much choice because they they really struggle to get there. I mean, you can see what area it covers, but for it to be full, they have to be pretty close. Speed things up a bit. Your ship has returned from its voyage. That's the command ship getting back to the old world, so the steamship should be here soon. How about a contract for the Emporium Exotique? Not at this you time, please. The God to carry it we'll soon be at a point where they want to, they want to start eating, and they need pemmicans. Then we can create the whaling station and the caribou hunting lodge. See, this bloke's just catching onto the edge of the heat source there. Your ship has returned to its voyage. Here is the whaling ship, the uh, cargo ship, with our goods. Cargo boat at the ready. Can't store it all at the minute. 
We need 500 explorers. It's alright, you can stay up oh, now. It's got so much wood for us to use. Both of the wood. Both of the um, lumberjacks huts are at 100%, which is good. We are on plenty of wood anyway, so let's go ahead and build some more. Gonna have to move the canteen to the middle. Right now, caribou. You need whaling station. This is what I was on about earlier. See, we're gonna be able to get probably four whaling stations hatched onto this. We may have to move these people a bit further up. Not too many changes, I hope. Let's try one, two, three. Yep, yeah, heat's getting to all three. Good. We're only going to want the one for now. We're going to want caribou. This needs heat, but if I remember right, it doesn't affect the percentage of the lumberjacks' huts, so you can have them pretty close to the lumberjack hut. They can work in tandem with them. So, took a little bit off. live with that. Pemmican cookhouse. This can come down here. It can still reach the warehouse up there. If I remember rightly, it's a minute. Caribou is... A minute. We'll have to take it to a and the whaling station is a minute, so it's one, one, and one. So that should get food going. The next thing we need is oil lamps. We need a lot more people for that. So what I'm going to do straight away is bring in another whaling station. Bring in the other caribou thing. Another pumpkin cookhouse. Those two should be enough to support the 500 that we need, so all we need to do now is just build. Get the population up. We're going to come to the limit of what we can f sustain off this one heater station soon. So we will have to bring another one in. And in turn, bring in another charcoal kill. We might as well send this chap up to the Inuits. While he's sat around doing nothing. This is the way I like to do it. I like to keep the um, houses separate from the, the workforce, if you like, or the factories and stuff you need to make things.
Your people are miserable. Hater and King William Island is out of coal and isn't working anymore. That's because it's just waiting for the delivery. We should have have enough. Yeah, demand's four and we're at four, so we're good for the charcoal. I knew this. Right, that seems to be. Oh no, it's not. I was going to say that seems to be the limit. Getting there slowly. I expected to struggle. Our tools are frozen. No connection to harbour. That's because we deleted this ice road here. You lost an influence bonus. Right, newspaper. We're going to do two of the highest consumerism ones. Tell me I missed it. Missed it. For fuck's sake. Go back to the old world. We'll pause the concrete production again in this, the... Uh, that's already paused. Pause the concrete production. And the windows. Windows are paused anyway. Pause the glass just to keep us in the keeps in the green. Should have plenty of glass for the spectacle factories. Yeah, we're good. We're good for now. We won't be trampled for it. Everything's full. Happy days. Let's get back to it. Found something. Follow the Inuit Cargo boat. Stations. I still need 20 more people to fill all the factories. Your people are miserable. Right, pemmican, yeah, we're well over producing on that. Whale and oil, we know. Obviously, the charcoal, we know. Why has that number suddenly dropped to 70? I haven't, I haven't built anything else. Not enough people. <sighs> Workforce shortage. It's going to shoot up soon anyway because the pemmicans are coming in. Well, they will be. Ranger station. That's the next thing we want to build. This is like a fire station, police station, and uh, hospital all in one. They're just magic little things, they are. They do everything in one go. This bloke needs a canteen. I'm also put another canteen up here. We're gonna need one. Do it central. I should instantly bring us more people in. Let's see what the range of this next heater place is gonna be. If we just continue this road straight up. See how far we need it to go to 
at least put this line all the way over there so we can make most of all this. I really need to be a new milestone. Hmm, not as good as I thought. Good enough though. Build another charcoal kiln. Hopefully this one can. This one can reach the warehouse down there. This gold mine should be able to reach that warehouse too when it comes to it. Turn this heater on. So with the pemmican it gets you up to five people per house. When you introduce the oil lamps it puts ten people per house but you need to get to 500 people first. So, I'm going to need to move one of these to put a ranger station in. I need to move a couple. To move him as well. And what we'll do is we'll delete this road. Shift that over. Ranger station can go in there. Them three are still getting heat. We've got two spaces there and one there, so we could squeeze another house in there. Everyone's getting heat. You'll know if they're not getting heat, you get a thermometer symbol, symbol above their head. So the ranger station, a cruel master. oil lamp is a production chain that doesn't need to go in anywhere. They don't need a catchment area for the oil lamps, they just get them from the market. The Hades and Sticks came this way. If it takes our last breath, we must find them. Here's something more. It'll take our best efforts to clear that frozen channel. 75 grand. Thank you. I thought of something. Something that'll make things a lot easier. We pick up our crumbs and prepare an especial ice breaching brigade. She won't felt I'm not doing that. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not even producing felt at the minute, so she can sing for it. That's a damn shame. We're almost feeding another <clears throat> whaling station this end, but just not quite. Wonder if we could get on the <clears throat> excuse me. Wonder if we can get on the side of it. It's close, but I don't think that'd count. It might do. You never know. So where are we at people wise? Greatly eases things. Five hundred we needed, didn't we? About four hundred and fifty, so not many more. Fill this little cluster in here. We should be, should be good. happened it's 
So, sleeping bags, you don't really need to produce them, These, it's just a happiness thing. Or a warmth thing is like the happiness level. You, uh, as I say, you don't really need to do them. I will. I will though. You need to settle this small island here just with enough people just to create whales. You can see seal abundance. The main island that you start on does not have seal abundance for some reason. It's only these little islands. They're very clever how they do it. There's four bigger islands, all with the same resources. Four little islands, all with the same resources. I mean seal abundance. So, And there's four Arctic plateaus you can colonise. So how I've got it in my big game, I've got every big island has a small island producing the seal abundance to create its sleeping bags. And then in turn, every island with its own seal little seal island I, I overproduce enough food to supply an arctic plateau so you've got four islands four arctic plateaus and four little three each one with their own airship collecting stuff and dropping stuff off it is a bit complicated it's going to take us two or three episodes to set them all up but for now we'll just get one island done build the airship get one arctic plateau going we have sustained the oil across the region no we haven't because we're not there yet are we at 500 people yet? No, still need more. There's pemmican supplies improving. See, at the minute, it's, it's very easy to overproduce on the pemmican. We, we are using half of one tonne at the minute, and we are producing two, or we will be producing two. When everything's up and running. Caribou's at 100%. Both whaling stations are 100%. So we are producing two. Two tonnes, and we're using half a tonne, so we're, we're easily overproducing on the... Uh, Pemmican. It says it's stable, but it should be going up. Let's build another warehouse down here for these so they don't have to travel so far. Sleeping bags we won't deal with for now, so it doesn't give you anything. As long as I've got a heater, they're, they're chilly. Naps creates heat as well. I didn't realise that. I normally leave these quite bare. I mean, the later date they use canned canned food as well, but I don't normally bother with that. I just uh, <laughs> just leave them <laughs> ticking away on their own, unhappy. Hold the crane. Get some cool items for you. For your zoos and your museums here, some unique items when we get to that point later at a later date. So, oil lamps. Schnapps is coming in now, so we're at the point where we need oil lamps. So, we are going to need another one of them. We are going to build. We're going to upgrade once we get some oil going. Oil lamp production. We'll stick him out the way up here somewhere. Be nice if I could get him here. Ten a minute. Yeah. 
So we require less than a ton a minute of oil and we will be producing one. We're still waiting for materials. Speed it up a bit. That's it, Flew. Ranger Rick should be doing his thing. Here he is. While we're waiting for that to build up, let's just check on the old world. Make sure we've got no major disasters. Everything's good. Maxed out on the windows. Concrete we paused. All is good. Plenty of engineers ready to upgrade our industry. It's looking good. Money's not brilliant, but we're, we're nearly at a million in the bank, so can't complain. Got a spare ship here. I'm going to send him up to I'm watching your Eli. Every oh, there's an actor there. Look, I'm not going to get there in time. This is the item that I was searching for in the earlier videos, earlier videos if you didn't know. Residents with a variety theatre need fulfilled are provided with rum and canned food. She's gone. We'll get, we'll get another one. Grease the wheels, governor. Young boy's passionate about the workers' struggle. Maybe too much, so he's been handing leaflets to his schoolmates, refusing to be oppressed by his bedtime. Spare a thought for us. If I remember rightly, he's by the school. Yes. Wearing a blue shirt. Sure! A promise kit. Look at that. Productivity 40%. That's for our sand mines. It's excellent. I, I always put them in sand mines when I find them, so that is a nice one to get. Workforce minus 20. Productivity plus forty percent. Clay pits, salt peter works, sand mine, limestone chrome, and oil as well. Oil wells. I always use them on the sand mines. Can this enigma be decoded? Can sure the following can. problem be solved? Sixteen penny farthings. Should have them. Are our ice 400. breaches ready? Are the ice breaches ready? Yes. Bridging the gap. Yes. Too very coefficient. Cab assembly line. Productivity plus 20%. Nice. Not at that stage yet, but we will be soon. This, this my... Never mind my feelings. There's so much to do. Deliver to ice breaking blockade. Ice breaching bridge. Cargo stations. Okay. Roger that. What do we need to upgrade the warehouse here? Not much. Technicians we need. Oh, yeah, in. We should be able to upgrade some of these technicians very soon. The supplies at 99% for the oil. And we can start mining gold. Getting the gold back across to make the pocket watches that we need to progress to investors. So the ship's on the way to the ice breaking brigade. Some of these are going to be able to upgrade. Yes, very, very soon. So, you reached a new milestone. We need to get to a hundred technicians to unlock the post office, and we can drop a post office in here, and then we'll be able to scale down the operation. So, let's upgrade a good clump. Well, we're not dead yet post office so we're going to do the post office quite central I'm going to move this dude out of the way I'm hoping it fits in one square no not quite post office 
see the post office gives you three more technicians canned food again that's not unlocked till out hands till that's not unlocked till 300 i generally don't give them canned food i don't give them the husky sleds either it's such a pain in the ass to manufacture them but now progress through the story of the passage technicians 165 out of one okay so all we've got to do now is just keep doing what she tells us and then she'll start telling us to build the uh, airship hangar so which is Don cool how much brass are we using again? A ton a minute. That's fine. I'm going to build a couple more steamships. We are keen to resume as soon as permitted. What's the uh carefully I say? 1700 for the steam motors. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep it paused for now until we can get the newspaper back and remember to to bloody do the boost. I tell you what, let's upgrade some more engineers. Check our engineer goods. So machines are still good. Spectacles were, were really good. Penny Favens were awesome. Coffee. We we're overproducing by loads. It's light bulbs, isn't it? I suppose we should start making some light bulbs. Do we have an abundance of coal building up anywhere? If we do on this island. Yes, we do. Tell you what, let's get up some basic light bulb production going on. While we wait for our ship to get to where it needs to go. So, engineers, light bulb. We've got a good production of glass coming in. Filament factories at 30 seconds, a light bulb factories at 30 seconds, so it's one to one. We're borderline on the uh, money side of it again, and we need more workers. That's because of that, so we'll leave that. We will be producing two tons of light bulbs a minute, so all is good. I haven't got much room left on here. We're going to have to produce coal elsewhere. There's two coal mines over here. Coal mines. Are they workers again? They must be. Yeah, 50. So we would have to put a uh, commuter pier over here to get the coal going, but that's no hassle. We've got plenty of windows and stuff, so... As and when we need it, we can get these two coal mines going and start shipping that back to our main island, so... We're nearly at that hour mark. It's a damn shame. Brigade. If it didn't Ready take me so long... If it didn't take me so long to upload stuff, I'd do a two-hour video on the Arctic. I love these little uh, VDs they do. I think they're pretty cool. Find how to miss Hades and sticks. Cargo boat at the ready. The expedition must have been really stubborn to venture up there. How far did they really expect to take those boats? <gasps> Bring them around. Ah, 
I could simply go to press. No, you will not. What does it take for a captain to abandon so, the ship? Consumerism. Consumerism. No ship, even Happiness. an icebreaker, can carry us from here. Nor will we cover enough ground on foot. We need an airship. You need a blooming airship, you do. We do. Hey, hey, what do you mean? Borrow mine. Get out of it. Why not build your own airships? You want to employ a lot of fuss pot suit strokes to watch out. Roger that. We need steam engines, sails. I have no idea how expensive that will be, but here. Here. I hope that's remember what else. <clears throat> To start, love. Yes, I'm a Zeppelin technician, but really, I'm much more. I... Build an airship. Roger that. For that, we're going to need another heat source. Oh, maybe we could do it here. Airship hangar requires heat. You know what? Let's do it here. Squeeze it, it's a shame to do it there. Yeah, we are. We're gonna bite the bullet. We're gonna do it here. And if we need to build another canteen with some people, we can do it over here. Thirty wood ten steel. Build a hangar first. We need 15 wood, 30 lime. Okay, let's get it coming over here then. Let's see if we can get the actor. Let's see if we can get the actor. Only to find a fitting punishment. Look at that, Miss Amelia. Residents consume 40 less rum, beer, schnapps and champagne. That's a handy one to have. I'm going to do a couple of rolls, see if we can get an actor. I'm willing to go down to 800,000. No more. Nope. Snooze, you lose. A victim of my own, even with aid. I fear it shall not be enough. Find Maria at the church. Where are you, Maria? Rainbows follow you. Inner's International Trade Fair Bill Ward. Affects Marketplace and Bank. Maintenance costs. Oh, I didn't read. Good chance to read that. Attractiveness plus 10. What is our attractiveness? 37. Right, let's get him. What did we need? Lime. And wood. We've got wood anyway. I know we need sails when it comes to building the airship. So we might as well put some sails on. Let's get the steam. Curious. Get the steam motors going again. Get the concrete going again. Now we're in the green. Get the glass the production the and the wind production. And there. So, send you off to the Arctic. That's it, we're at the hour mark, so I'm going to have a quick look on the wiki to see what items we need to finish this uh, hangar. And then at the start of the next episode, we're going to load up the uh, steamship and get it all over there in one go, so we don't have to wait to find out what we need. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Settle in the Arctic Park 2 in the next video. Thanks.